at that point, it was either, well, we just live with it, or we jump in and make our own 3D printers as well as our own materials. And yeah, we did a lot of early work with uh, using several different commercial 3D printers and looking at commercial resins for microfluidics and found that the resolution for the negative features, which are the key thing in microfluidics, just was not there. So we we thought, well, gee, let's do our own custom resins and maybe that will be good enough. And so we explored that and we found that, uh, no, that's not good enough. You can get down to, I think the best we did was 60 micron tall channels by a little over 100 microns wide. And, and that just wasn't the size scale that we wanted to be at. And and it was difficult to get that to turn out uh, well. Sorry, this was for the commercial resins or your custom resin? <laughs> Custom resin with commercial okay. uh, 3D printer. Mm, okay. And uh, and so at that point, it was either, well, we just live with it or we jump in and make our own 3D printers as well as our own materials and and solve the real problems to get down to the size scales we need to be. And, and you know, that wasn't necessarily an attractive proposition, but, but on the other hand, uh, just living with what was available was also not attractive. So just decided to go for it. Mm -hmm.